Creative Sweet TV Watchers. I hope you're all doing well today. This is episode 14 of Creative Sweet TV. And a big hello to everyone watching via YouTube. And it's starting to get quite a few subscribers there now. So uh, it's great to see you guys as well as the iTunes music store people. Fantastic episode for you today. Look out. We've got a great little tip. It's a short one. But it's a good one. It's actually taken uh, in part from the pages of my book, which is the How to Wow with InDesign CS2 book. You can see, uh, well, that says Wayne there, doesn't it? But there's Mike McHugh. So that's my book. Page uh, 133, if you're interested, changing the color of images in InDesign. It's an InDesign tip uh, today. Before we go to the tip, though, uh, I've got some special messages after the tip. So stay tuned for that. A uh, worthwhile cause, uh, Movember. I want you to get involved with Movember. So we've got a special message from a mate of mine, uh, Matt, after the show. Uh, before we get to that, though, I do have one special message. Boy, I'm going to get some mileage out of this one. One special message before we go to the tip. Uh, take it away, Russell. Hello, this is Russell Brown from Adobe Systems. And you're watching Creative Suite TV with Mike McHugh. Why, what an amazing collection of tips and techniques. This is the one-stop location to find out everything you need to know. <laughs> a great little tip. Here it comes. Well, first of all, I'd just like to express my disappointment with people using InDesign that go with the long and skinny toolbar here. I think you cannot let Quark go. You like a long skinny toolbar because you're addicted to Quark. Get over it. Let's use the proper toolbar, which is the two column toolbar. So, personal opinion though. Uh, personal opinion aside, I have got a great little tip for you and that is to change the color of a picture inside of InDesign. I first displayed this technique at the InDesign conference in Melbourne and it was labelled the gold rock technique. I've moved on a little bit from then and I'm going to show you a couple of little tricks. First of all, if you have a colour image in InDesign you'd like to make it black and white, try this on for size. Step number one, grab a shape, any old shape, and draw it in front of the box that you're working on and fill it with either black or white, it doesn't matter, paper color. Sit it right in front. Step number two, and this is the fun bit, bring out the transparency palette, over here we've got the transparency palette there, and turn the mode from normal, what's normal anyway, down to color, and strangely enough, the color will disappear and you'll have a black and white version of the image that you're working on. Here is a great little tip. Does it need to be the entire image? No, my friends, it does not. You could have half the image in black and white and the other half in color. Isn't that exciting? Well, Going on a suggestion from my old mate Sandy Cohen. Hi Sandy, if you're listening. I am going to add now a gradient to this technique to change the color of our sunset. Let's do half it and then we'll drag it across so we can see what's going on. So we've applied our shape in color mode. That's great. Now we need to find our swatches palette. Oh no, it's buried somewhere. Window swatches it is here comes our swatches and we're going to go ahead and choose a new gradient swatch new gradient swatch new gradient swatch let's click it on and it will bring up a new gradient swatch this is cool and we're going to call this sunset we'll click add and done we haven't done anything to this yet 
We're going to go ahead and apply it to our shape. It's black and white, so it's still not going to do anything. We're going to edit our sunset now. We're doing it in this order so we can have the preview on and we can see our changes occur as we make them. Top tip. So choose your color. I'm going to work in RGB so I can get a little bit brighter. And at this end of the scale, I'm going to have it yellow. Hmm, it's interesting. Got it round the wrong way, haven't I? Don't worry, we'll fix it. This end of the scale, I'm going to again go to RGB. I'm going to have red. No, I'm not. I'm going to have purple. No, I'm not. I'm going to have blue. Ooh, red to blue is very strange. Let's add another color stop in. We'll have a purpley sort of pink color in the middle. We'll slide that way over to this side. So we can just have a little blue at the top and then kind of orange in the middle. I think that is going to look wonderful. Let's go ahead and press OK. Grab our gradient tool and click and drag with the shift key down in the right direction, Mike, from the bottom to the top to make a new colored sunset. Oh my goodness, this is fantastic. Who would ever know what the real image was going to be? So this is our after, there's our before. I'm just gonna do an undo there. Control or Command Z to put it back. Oh my God, that is the, I'm still calling it the gold rock technique. It's a classic. You don't need Photoshop when you're changing the color of a sunset like that. What a wonderful photograph. There we go. The gold rock technique. <laughs> what a wonderful tip. Well, what I've got some news for you. So quickly, I hope you really enjoyed that tip. That was really great. I've got some uh, classes coming up for Fuji Xerox in Sydney starting on the 27th of November for that week. Photoshop and InDesign. Go to my website, mccue.com.au if you'd like to go and attend those. Now, uh, to more important things, Movember is on at the moment. Uh, it's, a, it's an event where people grow in Australia here and New Zealand. Singapore, I think, as well, are online as well. Where men grow mustaches to um, raise money for men's health issues. Um, a good buddy of mine, uh, Matt Drew, is involved and uh, he's trying to make, raise some money uh, through Movember. It's a fantastic idea and it's a fantastic uh, number of causes as well that they support. So I'm going to flash Matt's got a little message for you. Mine's just a fake one. What do you think? Mm -hmm. oh, not bad. Uh, and I've decided that uh, you can you can donate some money to Matt. Uh, as a matter of fact, here's Matt uh, right now. Hey folks, my name's Matt Drew and I'm gate crashing Craig Sweet TV to promote Movember. As you can see, I'm making a very lame attempt here to grow a moustache for Movember. So if you'd like to sponsor me, go to movember.com.au hit sponsor a Mobro and enter my number which is 4999 so 4999 get in there and sponsor away well that is just great Matt so please get onto the movember.com.au website and put as much money in as you can now if you want uh, some uh, bang for your buck I'll tell you what if you buy one of my creative suite uh, series one DVDs. Every uh, every copy of this uh, I sell in the month month of November. I'll put five. I'll tip five bucks in for Matt as well. So if you want to get a copy of this, now would be the time to do it. You can feel really good about yourself if you get that off my website as well. Thanks for joining in for another ripping episode of Creative Sweet TV. I think we've made a difference this week. Thanks again. Next time, oh, I love it.